Hello, and uh, welcome to KWN, and we're so happy and, and grateful that w they've let Dade Middle School be here today to talk with you, and I am Sandra Spivey, the principal of Dade Middle School, and I have two very special guests with us here today, so I want to introduce them and tell you a little bit about them, and then we're going to hear from each of them about some really cool things they're doing for our students at, at Dade Middle School. So... Just to my right here, um, I have Sheena Hill, and then beside her is Miss Brandy Gann. And both of these ladies are new to Dade Middle School this year, and I'm going to talk a little bit about each one, but we feel so... I knew when I met them that we had to have them working at Dade Middle School, but after now, I've been working with them for uh, almost... We're almost halfway through the second, second nine weeks, how very blessed and fortunate we are at Dade Middle School to have them with us. So um, last year, uh, Will Martin was teaching our engineering technology classes, and he really wanted to get into an academic area. So we have him teaching sixth grade English now, so that created a vacancy in engineering technology. And so as we were interviewing and looking at different candidates, Sheena Hill was one of our our candidates and, uh, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about her um, but r right away as we met with her talked with her we knew she was the perfect fit for our program and uh, I was determined that we were going to have her <laughs> on our staff to be able to work with our students and then really the same thing happened with Brandy uh, all of you know and we've had Heidi Wilson on the show before to talk to you about the art art uh, visual arts part of our fine arts program in Dade County Schools and she was working half time at Dade Middle School and half time at Dade County High School and she had the opportunity to work kind of a good problem to have lots of kids at the high school mm -hmm. interested in her program so she had the opportunity to be there full time so we had a half time art position open and and my thinking was um oh, I'm sure there are uh, art teachers standing on the corner who want to come teach half a day at the middle school. But as it turns out, there sort of was yeah. that person. <laughs> and the second she and I connected, uh, I, I was like, we've got to have her at the middle school. So I want to tell you a little bit about each one. And I'm doing most of the talking now, but you're going to hear from them. Um, when um, I already explained why we had the position open. Brandy uh, Gann was, or is still, I guess, involved. Her husband, uh, Jonathan, is with the student ministry at Trenton Ministry Center, mm -hmm. and he's been there about nine, over nine years, something like that. Around so the, some yeah. of you in the community may know them from that aspect of their work. And so she's been involved with that as well as kind of a student ministry leader. Mm -hmm. And also, what you may or may not know, is that she has eight plus years of experience as a freelance photographer and videographer, um, also in costuming, makeup, artistry, and performing arts, kind of a business on the side. And she still does freelance mm -hmm. work, but just amazing work. And as I began to talk with her, about possibly coming to Dade Middle School, it was just obvious, I think, to both of us uh, right out of the gate that this was going to be a perfect opportunity. And she had never taught before, but she's doing a phenomenal job. And one of the things, one of the quotes I remember uh, as I met Brandy was she said, you know, I've been in, lo in love with the arts my entire life. And I really think uh, her philosophy uh, for what the arts can do for our students and how it feeds in with the rest of our art performing arts uh, program is has just been a perfect blend and she and Heidi still work very closely together and I'm going to ask her to tell you more about that in just a few minutes but they knew each other before and are still working closely and so welcome Brandy Gann to Dade Middle School and she's doing a phenomenal job and then our other person here we're going to hear more from her in just a minute but our other person is Sheena Hill and Sheena was another one uh, I mentioned Will Martin used to teach our engineering technology classes and he was in our interviews and I think we all became speechless all of us who were doing the interviews when we were talking to her we were like wow we have to have this person at Dade Middle School and that's the way it's been for our kids too just what she's bringing 
to the program. I have kids stop me every day and tell me that they love that class. Both of their classes are nine weeks classes and um, you know, I'll have kids who are like, I'm not an artist, I don't want to do that. And then they are totally into it, which is all, yes. what middle school should be all about, us being able to explore these things. And same thing with engineering, they're disappointed that they have to move on to another class sometimes because they're so into what's happening. But uh, Sheena's background is interesting. I said she's one of the most diverse people I've met uh, in a long time. Uh, she, uh, in her in her work experience, was owned her own business for a while as a cosmetologist of all things, and then to, and was a draftsman in the workforce and a design engineer. So that's kind of a uh, a lot of you don't expect all of those things in a person's background so that I was very interested from a career and technical education perspective for someone to have all of those experiences also she as a teacher she had been a cosmetology instructor drafting and design instructor additive manufacturing instructor and advanced manufacturing and green power instructor and involved in skills usa so i knew she'd be able to bring all of those things to our students in dade middle school and you're going to hear more in just a few minutes about all of the ways she is already doing that uh, but one of my favorite things about her when i called to check references as i always do i'm embarrassing both of them right now is uh, one of the people i spoke with said she's making a difference in the lives of her students and even when we interviewed her um, one of my favorite things was how she became emotional talking about mm. her students and how much they meant to her and that that was going to be the hard thing if she did this to leave those kids and I feel like she's already formed those relationships with our students I'm gonna make her cry while we're here but um, we're just so blessed and I want to reinforce by just telling you a little bit about these two ladies before you hear from them just so you know how fortunate we are to have them at Dade Middle School um, before we um, before we go into we're going to go into a, a separate segment with each of them so you can hear more about from them their background experience and what they're doing at Dade Middle School uh, but before we do that I want to share and we have a photo of a project that the two of these ladies did together and I think he's going to put that up for us but it's Halloween today so happy Halloween and our and engineering technology of all things to work together and if you've heard the STEM science technology engineering and math well they now say STEAM instead of STEM because the arts is added and it's recognized as an integral part of engineering and and the the math science and engineering and technology so we're so pleased that they they just got together and collaborated had the idea and our it, it actually has moving parts and noise that it makes and the kids have had a lot of fun uh, with Halloween and also using some of the skills that they're learning in art and engineering so I hope uh, I've done a good job of telling you how excited we are to have them both at Dade Middle School. And when we come back after a break, we're going to start with Brandy and hear more about our visual arts program at Dade Middle School. This fall, we're rolling out the Love the Bus elementary campaign. Love the Bus is designed to teach students the importance of safety, respect, and proper bus etiquette. As we continue to enhance efforts of safety for our students, we'd like to have you as part of our team. The Dade County Schools Transportation Department is seeking bus drivers and bus monitors. Part-time hours with full-time benefits. For more info, call the Dade County Schools Central Office today at 706-657-4361. Georgia Northwestern Technical College is now accepting applications for classes. We offer programs in business, health, industrial, and public service at six campus locations with financial aid options as well. Take day, evening, or online classes to get your degree, diploma, or certificate. Apply now. Drop by one of our campuses today or check us out at gntc.edu. Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Get focused. Get hired. 
Can you gig it? Oh, yes, you can. We know you've been waiting for a long time, and now Tennessee Valley Net is bringing it to you. Gigabit Internet service now available in certain areas of Dade County. Not just fast, super fast Internet service now available from Tennessee Valley Net. People are talking, I mean really smiling, about gig speed Internet available in limited areas from Tennessee Valley Net. Call today at 706-657-4367 or log on at tvn.net and see if gig speed is available where you are. We know you'll gig it from Tennessee Valley Net. A time-tested financial institution equipped with the latest banking technology, the Bank of Dayton, with mobile banking to fit your on-the-go lifestyle. Download our latest app today for your iPhone, Android, or tablet to bank on the go. Check your balance, pay bills, make deposits, and keep track of your account anytime and anywhere with the Bank of Dayton's smartphone app. Make life easier by using today's most advanced banking technology to your advantage. Call us at 657-6842 or visit on the web at bankofdayton.com. Your hometown bank since 1956, the Bank of Dayton. Main offices on Highway 11 north in Trenton and drive throughs on Highway 11 North and Highway 136 West. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. At Gross Furniture in Trenton, Georgia, you get the savings, the selection, and the satisfaction of getting the furniture you deserve at the prices you want. Come in, relax, and take your time. Our staff can assist you with the entire process, from expert advice to professional delivery. That's because Gross Furniture is local and treats you with honesty just north of the Courthouse Square on Highway 11 in Trenton. Gross Furniture, the home furnishing store that offers you more. Welcome back, and you're here today with Dade Middle School, Sandra Spivey, the principal, and Brandy Gann and Sheena Hill. And I've just introduced everyone to these ladies, so we want to hear a little bit from each one. Before we uh, talk about art, though, I thought you might want to wonder, you might wonder, be wondering why we're dressed the way we are. So each of us has on our house shirt, and we've been on the program before talking about our house. Yes. We have two Panthers, uh, Miss Hill and I are both panthers we're in the panthers house shout out to the panthers mm -hmm. and then we have a wildcat here wildcat. and you may remember our <laughs> other two houses are not represented here today are darters and uh yellow jackets and so today at our school it's club day and you're going to hear a little bit about, from them about their clubs but today it's club day so all of our kiddos have on their house shirts today so miss gann we're going to start with you i told a little bit about you but just to tell us a little bit about yourself you might want to share with us uh how you and miss wilson are working together heidi wilson are working together and then just about your program your curriculum and how you're in liking being at the middle school so far. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll start from the beginning of how I even found out about the position. Heidi and I are really good friends and um, we've known each other since our basketball days at Dade Middle School mm -hmm. and Dade High School. So we've known each other for that long. We were in the art program together at high school. Um, she's a grade below me. And um, we kind of rekindled a friendship um, as we went. And I always was a little jealous because I was like, man, art teacher, that is such a cool job. Like, I love that. Um, and I went to art school as well. I went to college uh, for art. And um, then one day she messaged me out of the blue and was like, hey, there might be this opening. Like, you should really apply for this opening. And so as soon as I did, and then like, it was like, two days later that I had an interview with you guys when it got all solid and knocked out and it just has been a huge blessing for me especially being a new mom um having a halftime job where I can have time to be with my baby and mm -hmm. then also have time to be with kids and do what I love to do and I've been telling people a lot lately I'm getting really emotional that um I think I finally found where I belong mm -hmm. you know and so I'm really really excited to be here and really excited to be teaching these kids because I mean they they're just so cool like there's a lot of kids that deal with all these different things and they constantly have these different struggles in life but then they come into school and they do their jobs and they work really hard and um, a lot of them are like hardcore perfectionists in our school and um, that's one thing I want to give them with art is art is not about being perfect mm -hmm. it's about expressing yourself and that even like happy accidents like Bob Ross talks yes. about he's like happy little accidents you know <laughs> those can be some of the most beautiful mm -hmm. things um so speaking of class curriculum wise 
Um, what I like to set it up as is I'd like for it to build upon each other. So the longer I have the students, the more information they'll have mm -hmm. so that they can kind of graduate to the next level. So we have sixth grade is um, art mediums, mm -hmm. which are all the different mediums that you could experience within art. I do usually a week on each of those. So we have watercolors, tempera, um, sculpture. Here's an example. She um, brought a couple of art samples. Yeah. We did we did these little donuts um, in if, sculpture. And if, if you follow us on Twitter or Facebook, I think I, yes. I post I, I post a lot of the projects they're working on in both of these classes. And they loved these. Um, these are actually made out of newspapers and glue and paper towels and paint. That's it. And then we get put real sprinkles on them. It and looks the kids, almost good enough to eat. <laughs> right. And so the kids, they were loved it because um, we noticed happy accident that when we put the Mod Podge on and the sprinkles, even after it dried, it still smelled like a donut. Oh, Because the sprinkles actually smell oh, like donuts. Funny. And so uh, I remember... Uh, Will was like, you guys are making us hungry when we sit home all those projects because the kids, they loved them so much. Um, so that's sixth grade. Seventh grade is elements and principles of art, which is all the basis of what you would need to build an art piece. You've got line and form and shape and movement pattern rhythm. And I usually pair those up mm -hmm. and um, we do projects like that. Um, that's where they learn also about the color wheel. And I have a couple of really cute color wheel ones that they did. Um, this is a watercolor piece that they did to Very describe nice. the color mm -hmm. wheel. And this is um, Callie Pittman, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is Callie as well. It's the Up House. And I thought that was really awesome. adorable. Mm -hmm. Just a creative way to show that. Um, and a lot of people may not realize there is a, just like there's a math curriculum at the state oh, level, yes. there are standards with our uh, career and technical programs, our arts programs, there are standards that you're meeting. So with mm -hmm. with these sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade concepts, you're working with Miss Wilson at the high school to make sure they're prepared when they get there. But also, you're following us a, a, a curriculum. Yeah, there's a huge list of state standards of things that they have to learn. Like sometimes kids are like, "I want to come to your class. Let's just do art." I was like, "Well, we have to learn the basics before we can get to the fun stuff." And so in eighth grade, they do art history, mm -hmm. and that is. Uh, the reason I have that as very last is because I want them to be able to try to recreate some of the things that they're learning about, which I have an example here too. Um, this is a Egyptian death mask that they made. Um, this is also paper mache and they painted it. Um, this other example I have, this is another happy accident. Um, as he was making his, if you notice it's kind of busted right here, it came apart as he was pulling it off the mold and I was like, well that's okay, we can come up with a cool story to go with it. And he was like, okay, this was dug up by grave diggers and they damaged it when they <laughs> were trying to raid the grave and so he's got dirt on just it. Just another layer of and creativity yeah, with it's the just storytelling. So cool. Like they just did such a really good job and I was so awesome. proud. And Miss Gann also, I mentioned we have four new clubs and we've been on the show to talk about that miss Wright Nikki Wright joined us at, the, at our last uh, segment and when we were on and told about all the different clubs told mm -hmm. about each one and so uh, you and she have the art art club, club mm -hmm. or arts and crafts I think we originally called it but they're divided into two groups why don't you tell about that yeah um, Nikki has we, we kind of discussed it and she's loves Pinterest I mean who doesn't love Pinterest but she's focusing on the craft aspect of it mm -hmm. so she's doing more of the Pinteresty style arts and then mine I'm working more with like uh, special effects and um, kind of making something out of nothing like show that you can make things from like movie sets and stuff even out of Dollar Tree items so right now we're working on horns because it's Halloween and so they've been building horns out of newspaper and paper mache well I love how uh I love Miss Wilson is such a talented artist, Heidi is, and Miss Gann also is a very talented artist, but their specific aspects of the arts that they enjoy the most, I guess, mm -hmm. or their experience is a little different, which is great for our students to have all that exposure. And they've actually already had a day where they swapped and Miss Wilson came back to DMS for a day mm -hmm. and then Miss Gann went over to the high school for a day. So. I just love how they're working so closely together and uh, we're so blessed I already said that but we're so fortunate to have her and the kids are really enjoying uh, what she brings to Dade Middle School and 
and thank you for sharing about your program. And we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to hear a little bit more about engineering technology. At Mountain View Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we're not 9 to 5, we're stay till it's done. And we know working hard to be the best is never easy. That's why we believe you have to work hard and play harder. Get $15,000 off on the 2019 Ram 1500 or up to 25% off on the 2018 Ram 1500 during Ram Power Days. So, come shop Mountain View Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram at our new location on Alabama Highway. Number one, for a reason. Methamphetamine affects everyone, your neighbors, your friends, and even your family. Know the signs. Physical symptoms include, you may have extreme difficulty sleeping and even insomnia, and you may lose your appetite. Know the signs. Please know the signs. You can seem nervous and anxious and even have paranoia. Know the signs. Overheat easily and sweat without even being hot. Know the signs. Dilated pupils and even hair loss. Know the signs hallucinations and delusions and you can also have tachycardia which is a rapid heart rate know the signs you may have liver damage and loss of skin elasticity know the signs you may notice unexplained financial instability and social isolation know the signs you may have a false sense of euphoria coupled with a strong depression and even risky behavior legal trouble memory loss and repeated incarceration please know the signs unfortunately we do it's back for a limited time. Guthrie's buy four, get one more deal. Come on into Guthrie's in Trenton and Ringgold to get your punch card and start saving. It's really easy. Buy four meals at the regular price and get the fifth meal free. It's the buy four, get one more deal now at Guthrie's. And be sure to get my Guthrie's for your after school snack box now available. Guthrie's, home of the golden fried chicken finger and the best chicken finger sauce in the world. Highway 136 West in Trenton and off Alabama Highway near Food Line in Ringgold. Guthrie's, no fast food, good food fast. The Moore family name has built a legacy of trust, compassion, and peace of mind by standing with families during time of loss. Now in our 70th year, the Moore family commitment grows even stronger, from affordable, traditional services to cremation. Our experienced staff stands ready to follow through on you and your family's wishes. Since 1945, the Moore family of funeral homes, North Sand Mountain and Trenton, always dedicated to those we serve. Welcome back, and uh, we're fortunate at Dade Middle School to be able to be on KWN today. And if you if you're just tuning in, I have Brandy Gann, uh, a new art teacher at Dade Middle School, with me, and Sheena Hill, a new engineering technology uh, teacher here with me. And they're I, I said earlier they have both been already just in the short time we've been into this school year been such tremendous assets to Dade Middle School and right away have jumped into working together on projects so I love it that art and technology engineering technology are coming together in that way so we've heard from Miss Gann and so I've asked Miss Hill to share with us today just a little bit about what exactly are they doing in engineering technology and these teachers uh, that serve in our connections classes are different than like the math science English and social studies in one respect because they they get to have our students only for nine weeks at a time each year but sixth grade year seventh grade year and eighth grade year so they're going to see them so they're serving sixth seventh and eighth graders so tell us a little bit about your curriculum what you guys are doing in engineering technology uh, may want to tell us about some of the exciting things coming up yes. and yes so um, first I would like to say that technology affects everything that we do um, very true the mm -hmm. demand of workers in engineering and technology is at a high rate right now mm -hmm. so my goal is to prepare these students and hopefully create a pathway for them to want to be some type of engineer whatever that may be um, that's one thing I've loved uh, about both of these ladies just their passion for wanting to get kids excited at this age especially when they're exploring all kinds yes, of different things when they're trying to find who they are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I normally start with sixth grade and that is my foundation level. We start with a research and development. Um, I keep them running with keeping record of all their designs in their engineer notebooks, which they do not love. 
but it is a great activity to keep them on the same path and grow as we go throughout their sixth, seventh, and eighth grade Also year. be a great reference each year to yeah. refer back to. It is, mm-hmm. it is. And I let them take those their eighth grade mm-hmm. year. I keep them up until then, so that's really great. I feed that into their seventh grade projects, mm-hmm. um, which I guess I should have said most of all my curriculum consists of hands-on mm-hmm. uh, projects. I do have a challenging curriculum. I do expect a lot out of them. Uh, they have told me more than once, your expectations are way too high, but they are so smart. That's okay. They are so smart. And and, and they're rising to the challenge, It too. is. They're mm-hmm. doing wonderful. Uh, but I do, I add a little bit more rigorous curriculum into that seventh grade and start making them think a little mm-hmm. bit more of that higher order thinking. And then I feed that into our eighth grade and we grow with it there and they get to do some reverse engineering and actually design the software or design the the parts or whatever they're doing in our CAD software which is SolidWorks then they'll learn how to use a slicing program and then they will 3D print whatever it is that they've designed so to be able to do that at a sixth, seventh, and eighth grade level is unbelievable. And already our kids are so excited about that they're they'll bubble both with both of these classes, but they'll just you know be bubbling in the hall or the cafeteria wanting to tell me, "Did you see my project? Have you been in Miss Hill's room?" Mm-hmm. And I love going in there in both of these classrooms because they're always they've got their hands on things and they're really applying what they're learning in their core classes as they do this creative work in in both of these areas and so you mentioned the 3d um, so we're working really hard got some exciting things that are in the works but even looking at maybe being a first if we can make this happen soon and if we do we'll be making announcements about that of how we can even have more opportunities for our kids yes. uh, we've had a guest in from nasa to talk to our students yes. and and hopefully that is going to lead into a partnership. Don't want to give too many details mm-hmm. yet, but if all of that um, goes through, then we will be the first middle school to partner with NASA, and it, we will be the first in the nation as far as the middle school. So that's mm-hmm. huge. So huge we've news. got a lot of exciting things in the works, and uh, the kids are really into it as far as just their excitement about that. I, they understand at least a little bit about what that can mean for later on. Um, the other thing I know Miss Hill's been involved with a lot in, in at her past job um, was Skills USA. She was in a high school doing a lot of big projects with green power and all of this, but Skills USA was a part yes. of that. And we had we were looking at TSA, which is a Technology Student Association Association, but because she was involved of, with Skills USA in the past, we learned that we can do that. At, or TSA so we've kind of we're headed in that direction and we're just getting started with it but you want to just real quick tell a little bit about Skills USA. Skills USA um, it is its goal is to produce world-class workers leaders and responsible adults um, their values consist of integrity responsibility citizenship service and respect which I think is very important but what industry complains the most about in their workers now is they don't have any soft skills mm-hmm. so we are training them to produce that leadership that those soft skills that are missing in industry alongside the technical skill that they need so I believe it's a huge huge step Um, I even know as a high school student in Skills USA it was it made a huge impact in my life um, I really, and it's you said soft skills. I really like the phrase essential skills instead of soft skills because everything you just listed is critical for whatever students yes. are going to do after high school. That's so true. Mm-hmm. That's so true. And not only that, but Georgia is one of the few states that even offers a Skills USA chapter for a middle school. So I believe there's maybe five total within mm-hmm. the United States that have a middle school chapter. So I'm so excited to get the kids involved at such an early age. And she's been recruiting in, yes. in the classes. <laughs> well, I, I hope you just got This is just a small taste of the exciting things that are happening uh, with all of our Connections classes, but in these two classes in particular. I hope you'll uh, tune in or, or follow us on Twitter and Facebook 
Facebook. I post a lot of the work that's happening in their in their classroom so you can see a little bit more and stay tuned for more hopefully news soon about this exciting opportunity for our kids. We'll round the segment out and again we appreciate being able to be here today but both of these ladies are new working with middle schoolers. Real quick I'm going to ask them to tell me what's your favorite thing about working with middle schoolers? Um, enthusiasm. <laughs> Ener- we definitely have energy. energy. The There's middle. a lot of energy. I just love how my favorite part is when a kid will come up to my desk and say, Miss Gann, I don't get it. Help me. Yeah. And then they'll sit there and just pay attention and then like you one-on-one help them with stuff. Yeah. I love that. I love the We definitely connections. We are not short on energy at the middle school. And what about you, Miss Hill? Honesty. Uh, yes. Honesty. Yes. Because if it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They are going to. If they think there's not a filter. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I mean, if you just got a brand new haircut, I give you 0.2 seconds to know if it's good or bad. <laughs> well, we uh, we have lots of lots of energy and lots of honesty and lots of other things going on at DMS. And so we're grateful today to be here to be able to share with you just a little taste of that. And uh, thank you again, KWN, for allowing us to be on today.